Welcome to a Euclidean plane. Boring, simple, uh, Squidward. Now, welcome to a non-Euclidean space. Spherical, scientific, weird. Uh, Squidward again. Euclid was a very smart mathematician who dealt in geometry. He worked a lot with parallels and planes and theorized a decent bit about how spaces work. A non-Euclidean space is one which works outside of the confines of that which he postulated. We've got saddles, we've got spheres, and we've got the ideas of the human mind. Ooh, look, a portal. Magician's brick. Portal is one obvious example of this. As it says, screw it, I'm going to run through that wall. But the games I want to talk about today find unique ways of defining planar geometry to create mind-bending and exciting experiences. So today on Blurbs, let's talk about non-Euclidean spaces in video games. They say happiness is found in the simplest of things, but I think I see it up there. The isometric viewpoint is one of the most useful in all of gaming, and in terms of non-Euclidean spaces, it can be utilized to trick the viewer through the use of perspective and viewpoints. Monument Valley opts to recreate the MC Escher art style, forming a game about architecture which uses its isometric art style to bend space at its will. Staircases wrap into impossible places, doors lead to back alleys that pop you out into nowhere, and the space becomes entirely manipulable as you try to sort out each puzzle. The isometric perspective is a big part of making that work, as paths are able to connect in hidden corners, in rotating distances, and in height-changing walkways. The Dreams Experience A Little Perspective can offer insight into this idea. It sees you moving a cube across a plane. You can rotate the viewpoint to make paths connect when they previously didn't. It plays with space and distance in a way that only an isometric game could, and it's incredibly creative and witty. And it's a solo development within Dreams, which makes it all the more impressive. But looking at things through a character's perspective can show us all new ways of seeing a world. I think my character's depressed. Viewfinder gives the players photos which they can use to alter the world around them, placing down walkways by moving the photo into the distance and using the object within to bridge the span. It has a childlike whimsy of things that you can dream up coming manifest by the way you alter the photo or the camera angle with your hands. Similar to this is the game Superliminal, in which objects can be manipulated by drawing them out at a distance, as objects utterly ignore the idea of perspective and warp upon viewpoint. A small dice can be put at the edge of a room to make it massive, allowing you to jump on it to get to a high place. A smushed down chess piece can be looked at from a different angle to make it whole again. It all functions on this idea of how you see the object being how the object is, and it's an incredibly fun gimmick. This is a disgusting flat Euclidean plane. Boo. And now it's a fun non-Euclidean sphere. Yay! <laughs> Things openly defying Euclid don't always openly defy reality. Technically, all games that take place in space would be non-Euclidean, as they function on more than just a flat plane. But the ones that drive our imagination the most and give Euclid a big middle finger are the ones that utilize the spherical gravity of their planets in direct gameplay. Mario Galaxy is the most obvious example of this, as each bite-sized planet is a playground for experimentation. The rules of parallels and forward momentum have no place here, as Mario jumps into the air and flings himself off of planets using gravity. It's this creativity and this joy that makes Mario Galaxy such a fun game, as there is almost nothing like it. But Outer Wilds doubles its non-Euclidean factors as it both bends space and time. As the galaxy you're in works around you and changes as you go through it, looping at the end of every 23 minute cycle as you try to figure out the intricacies of its incredible story. You have to control your rust bucket of a ship in the perfect manner in which to navigate these spherical planets in time in order to bring back order to the galaxy. Games that look outside of the realm of how spaces are often utilized can have fun and unique permutations. From the use of perspective to the altering of the plane on which we stand, these ideas are incredibly complex and often get the player thinking in new ways. This special way of looking at the space in which we play is what makes these games unique and drives their success. So the next time you look at a flat plane in a video game, remember, Euclid is dead and you don't have to listen to him anymore.